Hey, what's going on YouTube? Thanks for coming by today. Wanted to just go over a question that I received about what I think on the fact that the silver price fixing is ending in August and what do I think is going to happen. <clears throat> Ultimately, I think that the dollar is going to collapse and if we don't stop the bankers they are going to start a major war in efforts to force the world onto the dollar to save their currency uh, that they are so tied into. Uh, these people are psychopaths. It uh, seems to me that they are going to do anything that they can to force the world on a dollar currency. Ultimately, after the price fixing ends, I believe that the gold will follow and that the pricing platform will be handed over to the Shanghai Gold Exchange. Uh, recently, the National Bank of China approved the Shanghai Gold Exchange to go international. Um, it seems um, obvious to me that we have to stop this derivatives uh, paper scheme and we have to stop this uh, new world order um, problem that we have tied into these these bankers and the head of the snake is the Federal Reserve printing all this money creating all this debt and um, pawning it off on the people and other countries to force them to pay off the debt that, that can never happen. There is not enough money in circulation to pay off the debt. So it's just a racket. It's a Ponzi scheme. It's a setup. These people are psychopaths. We have to stop them. And um, so the comics is going to die. The dollar is going to have hyperinflation because uh, countries around the world are going to sell their $16 trillion in treasuries. All those treasuries are going to come home. The Federal Reserve is going to have to pay for it. Ultimately, we, uh, the people, are going to pay the, the price because hyperinflation is going to hit. The feds are going to print $16 trillion to pay that, pay those treasuries. The people selling the treasuries, the countries selling the treasuries, are going to turn around and buy gold and have a um, gold-backed currency. Uh, the yuan, the ruble, um, all the BRICS nations are going to be able to exchange currencies for gold and so on and so forth. It's going to be capital controls on currency. It, it might turn into a free market for gold and silver uh, because there's going to be capital controls on government spending. And that's what we need. We cannot go on printing money thinking that we are just going to print our way out of debt by creating debt. It's These people are psychopaths. So the London Gold Fix started in 1919, shortly after the First World War. Uh, the banks associated with it is the Bank of Nova Scotia, Barclays Bank, Deutsche Bank, HBSC and Societe Generale and lately they are becoming under investigation from Baffin and other regulation regulators such as uh, some regulators in London suing Barclays for 44 million dollars for fixing the price of gold ahead of a expiration on a gold contract 
and turning around and lining their own pockets. So, you know, they can just go ahead and manipulate the price of gold again and make money and never pay um, clients. So, Boffin is the German regulators going after the derivatives market. And you might ask, how did this all come about? Well, Bundesbank out of Germany wanted to see if they can audit their gold held at the New York Fed. Uh, New York Fed said, nah, you can't come over here and audit anything. Uh, we're not going to let you do that. Uh, Germany's like, well, it's our gold. Do you think we can have it back? So they wanted to repatriate their 674 tons of gold from the New York Fed and the French Central Bank. Uh, they agreed on a seven year term, 37 tons a year. Um, after the first year, only 5% was delivered. And word on the street is it wasn't even the gold they had on deposit, it was some less pure, remelted bullion uh, without the certificate of authenticity um, I believe all that gold is segregated and heavily documented so Germans turn around and say well you know maybe our gold isn't there so the BOF and regulators came around and said now ah, well, we're to start investigating these derivatives so first victim was Deutsche Bank Boffin comes out and says this is worse than the LIBOR rigging scandal when they were rigging the interest rates. So Deutsche Bank exits the gold price fixing and the silver fix is going to end in August. So hopefully the gold fix will end after that. And there's a race right now between the CME, the LME, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange to see who can take control of the pricing platform for gold and silver. Shortly after the Bundesbank, Austria demands audit of their gold reserves held at the Bank of England. And we're all saying out there that, you know, they'll probably get the same answer. No, nah, you can't come and see it. Everything's fine. Your gold is fine. Well, can we have the gold back? Oh, no. You can't have it back now. We can give it back to you in 30 years. Oh, yeah, okay. So, on the other side of the coin, we have the Shanghai Gold Exchange, which just got approval from the... Chinese National Bank to go international. Uh, since then, the Shanghai Gold Exchange has invited HSBC and um, a number of other banks to join in as board members to set up this new currency backed by gold. Seems pretty logical to me. So the world wants change. Uh, the Russians have been buying uh, gold left and right. The Chinese uh, reportedly are importing um, four tons a day per day. Um, we can't even give the Germans in a year five tons. Um, and the, the Chinese are, are importing four tons a day. Uh, lately, they I guess they haven't been importing that much, but that's been their average. So around the world, there's about $16 trillion of treasuries. That is the U.S. debt that we sold around the world. Um, the Russians can sell that all at once. And then what's going to happen is the Chinese will join in, and everybody else will join in after that. And what's going to happen is all that money is going to come home. The feds are going to have to pay market price for it. 
but how are they going to get the money? We don't have any money. They're going to print it. And what happens after that? The dollar will become valueless. And hyperinflation, that's what hyperinflation is going to do. Right now, inflation is hitting 6-7%, according to shadow stats. Um, the real stats behind the government numbers. So, <clears throat> the people want change, and I think it's going to be over to Shanghai Gold Exchange. Uh, on the other hand, what could happen is a huge war. And if you have not seen this, All Wars of Bankers Wars by Michael Rivero, whatreallyhappened.com, I highly recommend it. It's very well directed as a documentary. It goes through all the wars and how it all ties in to the bankers forcing people on their currency at the time. And right now, where are we? We're all over the Middle East. We went into Libya, we went into Iraq, we went into Afghanistan, we want to go into Iran and Syria. Everything's been blocked. We want to go into North Korea, we want to go start a war with China. All these wars. Why do they want to start the wars? Because these bankers fund both sides of the war. And by controlling both sides of the war through debt, they always come out the winner. So they need a war to solve this dollar problem. And right now, the whole world knows, including Putin, U.S. is behind the Ukraine crisis. And the story goes, they had two loans. The Ukrainians needed a bailout. They had two loans on the table, one from Russia and one from the uh, European Union. Uh, the Ukrainians decided they didn't want to join the, the European Union. So they went with the Russian loan. Well, we wouldn't have that. You have to use the dollar. So we went in there. Apparently we paid protesters. Uh, we ended up taking over Kiev. The Russians went in and got their assets, their um, military base in Crimea. And now there's a big like civil war in the eastern part. Um, the bankers want a war, unprovoked, forcing people onto the dollar. That's how they operate. They create debt to have control. So ultimately, what I want everyone to understand that the comics market is probably going to fail after the London fix fails because the power structure is going to move over to the east. Um, just remember, 99 times as much paper as digital gold in the comics market. It's not backed by gold. It's not physical. And they, they, they probably have printed more contracts recently because what they need to do is to hold down prices on gold and silver to make their the dollar look good, to make the European Union look good, to make their currencies look good. So ultimately, it'll come as a domino effect. The derivatives market is going to fail again. We'll have another crisis uh, this time around. Hopefully, people will be woken up so we don't have to bail out anybody. Let it fail. Let the recovery start. That's what it has to happen. But here we are. They want a war. Um, they're threatening nuclear war. Uh, Paul Craig Roberts. The U.S. believes that they can win a nuclear war with Russia and China. What ridiculous crap is that? Nobody wins in a nuclear war. Oh, but the bankers will win. You know why? Because they have bunkers and they can just hide and let everyone else die. That's what they want. If they can't get the dollar, if they can't get their way, they're going to start a war. We have to stop these people. Seriously. 
Thanks again.